fellow Bledner maniacs. You might be wondering, Alex, are we making a cupcake in this tutorial? Yes, indeed we are. We are. <laughs> I don't know if this is the French coming out of me, but uh, decided to make some pastries. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to make this cupcake here, which looks delicious. And we're going to be taking a look in part one at modeling the cupcake. Part two, we're going to be uh, ma adding materials, textures, and lighting to the scene. So we're going to learn some really, really cool things as far as modeling. Like I said, we're going to model this and then also see how to add materials and textures to get the cream at the top right here, the cupcake itself, and also the cupcake holder, how to get this cool little effect right here where part of the cupcake holder looks like it's detached from the cupcake and the other, the rest of it is more pressed up against it, making it see-through and transparent and all that good stuff. So with that, I'm excited. We're going to be recreating this scene right here. Not the whole scene, the cupcake. Obviously, you could recreate the scene. It's quite simple. It's just three cupcakes and a floor pretty much. But let's get right into it. Make sure to, I'm going to create a new scene, but make sure to head on over to BlenderMania3D.com uh, to check out other awesome tutorials. And yeah, that's all I'll say on that. Let's get right to it. Got my screencast keys on. I'm going to delete the default cube by hitting X, delete. Then in top view, seven on the numpad. Shift A, add in a mesh circle. And we're going to change this to 64 vertices. All right, now hitting tab to go into edit mode. Select three fourths of the of the circle. I can't even talk anymore. By B, left click it and dragging. And doing the same here as well. Then hitting X, delete the vertices. And as you probably know, we are going to go to the modifiers tab. Add a modifier, mirror modifier, making sure the X axis is selected and the Y axis. Then turning on clipping. And if we go back to object mode with the tab key, you can see we have a nice circle. All right, cool, cool, cool. Making sure that the cursor is still in the middle of your circle. If it's not, Shift S, cursor to selected. Then in edit mode, tab key. Alt right, Alt Shift right click, I should say. My bad, my bad. Every other vertex around your, I would say circle, but now it's more a fourth of a circle. So Alt right click every other vertex. We're gonna go down here, change it from the pivot point from median point to 3D cursor. So now it will scale along the 3D cursor. And hitting the S key, we could then scale these in a little bit. As you guessed it, we're making the cupcake holder right now. Pretty cool. All right, leave that like that, scale it in a little bit, and then change this back to median point. All right, all right. Hitting the A key, select everything, E to extrude, and then Z, let's bring this up. And then what I want to do is Alt right click the bottom, uh, yeah, Alt right click, switching this back to 3D cursor actually for a brief second, just to scale this in a little bit into the 3D cursor. Maybe like that. Now I'm gonna Alt right click the top, switch it back to median point now, and then just bring this down a little bit. Something like that. All right, cool. Now applying the mirror modifier, clicking apply, alt right clicking the bottom vertex loop and hitting the F key to fail in that face. Look at that, we got a cupcake holder. All right, we're not done. Let's add a modifier. We're gonna add a solidify modifier which will add a thickness to your cupcake holder. You could increase the thickness right here. I'm just gonna leave it at the default. And then hitting control two, which is a shortcut key to add a subdivision surface level of two to our cupcake. Clicking on smooth shading because no one likes a blocky cupcake. Let's then hit tab, go into edit mode, add in some loop cuts with control R, add a loop cut to the top and to the bottom like so. 
Cool. Now what we could do for the center right here to get rid of these this ugly shading geometry stuff. Hitting tab, control tab, go into face select mode. Z to go into wireframe, select the middle face right there. And then hit E to extrude, right click, S to scale, shift Z, and scale it along all the axes except for the Z axis, just a little bit. And that will basically add in a loop cut, so to say, at the bottom and give us a nice looking cupcake holder. All right, that is it for the cupcake holder. That was pretty easy. I need that staples easy button now. Now, we're going to add in the cupcake itself, which quite simply, shift A, add in a UV sphere. 32 is fine. Bring it up. I'm going to hit the 5 key on the numpad, go into wire, uh, not wireframe, jeez. Go into orthographic view. Tab to go into edit mode. Go into vertex select mode. Select half of the sphere. X and delete the vertices. So now we basically have, actually, yeah, delete all those. We have half a sphere. Go back into object mode and then hit S, Z, scale it down the Z axis to about that. And then bring it into the cupcake holder. Hitting five to get out of orthographic view if you want. Also gonna click smooth shading on this and scale it in a little bit. SZ, I kind of want it rounder. And depending on how you want your cupcake, you can bring it in more or less. I'm just gonna put it to about here. Scale it in so that it's not sticking out of the cupcake holder. Maybe bring it up a little bit more actually, like something like that. All right, cool, now hitting tab to go into uh, edit mode. What we're gonna do is turn on proportional editing by hitting the O key, making sure it's on smooth fall off, which it should be. Right selecting a vertex and then just hit G with your mouse wheel up and down, you can increase the proportion and then just bringing it down and up at random places just to give it some random variation because because it's a cupcake, no other reason. But uh, but yeah, you don't want it perfectly smooth. Now we're gonna add a modifier, subdivision surface. You could put this to one or two levels. Right now it's one view, two render, which is fine. And then you could play around with it some more. All right, that's good enough for me for now. It all right, cool. So that is the cupcake itself. Pretty simple. In fact, too simple. Alex, what's the trick? There are no tricks in this tutorial, unfortunately. All right, now with the muffin selected, let's make the cream at the top, which is probably the funnest part to make. I'm just gonna hit Shift S, cursor to selected, just so that's added here. We're gonna hit Shift A, mesh, circle. And then over here, we're gonna change the options. We're gonna change the vertices. Um, let's change it to 48. And then the fill type, we're gonna put triangle fan. And there we go. Let's bring this up. Hitting tab to go into edit mode with everything selected. E to extrude and just bring it up to about there. So it's a nice, nice thickness there. All right, cool. Go into face select mode, and this is probably the hardest part of the tutorial. You're gonna alt shift right click every other face. You see, I already messed up right there. Man, that's tricky. Whoa, I'm messing up way too many times for how simple this is. Maybe it's because I spoke it into existence saying it was the hardest part. Gotta watch your, watch your words, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that looks be quiet just focus hurry up all right feel free to pause it if you need but alt sh uh, not alt shift right click every other face now in top view seven on the numpad e to extrude right click to leave it there and then s or before we do that hit the o key to turn off proportional editing and then hit the s key shift z to scale it on everything except the z axis 
and just bring this out a little bit. This will be how far the cream is protruding on the spiral effect, pretty much, if that makes any sense. You'll see what I mean, but just scale it to about there. Now we're hitting one on the numpad, five on the numpad, A to deselect everything, go into wireframe and then just hit B, left click and drag and box select all of the faces on top so you have all these faces selected. Cool. I'm gonna now going into front view, one on the numpad. Let's go hitting the E key to extrude, bring it up and then just scale it down a little bit. And we're gonna repeat, repeat this process several times. E to extrude, scale it down. You could also hit the F3 key, which will bring up your repeat history and then you could just click on extrude region and move and then F3 again and click on resize and do it that way. However, I kinda like to do it manually, get some more control over this, over this but whichever way, you know, works with you. We're gonna do about 10 of these or so. Get the top, E to extrude, and then bring it up to about the same, the same amount of length pretty much, and then just scale it in. Let me see, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do one more for good luck. You know, 10's a good, good round number. All right, cool. Now, that does not look like a muffin too much, but hold on, we are not done. One thing I'm gonna do, Alt, Shift, or Alt, right click. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Alt, Shift, right click. Alt, right click this loop. Hitting the O key to bring up proportional editing again. You could definitely give this some more, uh, you know, feel to it by scaling it, scaling it how you kind of want. I'm just gonna scale that in a little bit. All right, cool. Now to twirl this around because this is looking more like an umbrella than a cupcake. I'm gonna hit five on the numpad just to go into orthographic view. With this selected, shift S, cursor to selected. Shift A, we're gonna add in a lattice. And then I'm just gonna go in wireframe. Just position this, scale it up so that it fits the cream SX, scale it on the X axis. And then three on the numpad to go into side view, S, Y, scale it on the Y axis as well so that it fits the entire cream filling. It's not really filling, but whatever. Now, going to the lattice um, tab over here, we're gonna change the number of, uh, it's basically the loop cuts or the amount of cuts on the W axis to the amount of loop cuts that we have on the muffin, which is 10 last time I checked. So we're gonna change this to 10, cool. Now selecting the cream, go to the modifiers tab, add a modifier lattice, and just select the lattice object we just made. Now selecting the lattice, tab to go into edit mode, box select the top vertices here. And what we're gonna do is hit R to rotate. Now let's do this in uh, solid mode, it's easier to see. R to rotate, Z, and then we're gonna rotate this on the Z axis and increasing the proportional fall off with the mouse wheel, scroll it up. We're gonna increase it until it rotates all of them except for the very last one and probably the very second to last one. So you don't want it to affect these two last ones. Definitely not the very last one. The second to last one, it's up to you. So just rotate this on the Z axis, R, Z, and then you could increase the fall off. And again, so that's not really rotating the bottom one. To something like that, left click to confirm, go back into object mode, and now we could select our cream, apply the lattice modifier, select the lattice and delete it. All right, now I'm gonna go into out of orthographic view because that's just terrible. Select the cream, smooth it out, and hit Control 2 to add in a uh, subsurface modifier. Cool, now let's just scale it down, bring it into our muffin, scale it up a little bit maybe. However you want, this is your muffin. Also what you could do, once again, 
You could alt right click these loops and just, you know, with the proportional tool, scale them up a little bit. If you want it thicker at the top. All right. And last thing we're going to do is just give it a little bit of character. So because muffins aren't perfect, we're going to select the top here. R to rotate with the proportional fall off. I'm going to rotate it a bit like that. And then just grab it, rotate it, give it kind of a, you know, a little, little character at the top like that. And then giving it some character to the surface of it because we don't want it to be perfectly perfect. Unless you're making the perfect cupcake, then hey, there you go. So just select random vertices. I like to select some at the bottom here. Select some at the top here. Increase or decrease your proportional fall off how you will. And just bring some vertices in and some out. Especially at the bottom here, it gives it a nice little effect. Bring it like that. And then object mode, I'm just going to hit G and Z and make sure that this is actually in the cupcake. It looks a lot better than floating on top of it. And there we go. So just continue, give it as much character as you want. You could even put eyes on your cupcake, I don't know. You know, turn it into a character and make an animation with it. All right, so that is the modeling portion of this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Look out for part two, uh, which is going to be out tomorrow. Uh, part two, we're going to be the, doing the texturing, the lighting, and the material. So that will be fun. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to like, subscribe, share this, and again, check out BlenderMania3D.com. With that, appreciate you all. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in part two. All right, ciao for now. Au revoir.